Please join me in welcoming the man who is leading the charge on Sage's vision and strategy to propel all of you and this industry forward, none other than Sage's Chief Executive Officer, Steve Hare. Thank you very much, Eva, for that introduction. And hi, everyone. Welcome to Transform 2024. And welcome to the future of AI-powered business. It's fantastic to see so many of you here today with us, our amazing customers, incredible business partners, and also our sponsors. Now, as Eva said, we couldn't do this without our sponsors, so Let's have an extra round of applause for our sponsors, please. And an extra special loud round of applause for our titanium sponsor, PwC. Now, I've got a confession to make. This is actually my first time in Vegas. I know this is difficult to believe. You can, I don't know how I avoided it until now, but here I am in Vegas, right? And I've heard there's a few rules. And I'm a little bit concerned I'm about to break the first one and the most important one. Because what you're going to hear from us today is definitely not going to stay here in Vegas. It's going to go across the country, from coast to coast. It's going around the world. Because we have some very big and exciting developments to unveil. Now, there is no doubt this is my favorite Sage event of the year. I think, as some of you know, I am an accountant by training. I started my career as a CPA in practice, and my first big job in business was as a CFO. So I feel right at home. This is actually the only place, particularly now I'm a CEO, without fear of any judgment, I can openly declare my love of talking about workflows. <laughs> I get what all of you do. I know that you're the beating hearts of your business, and your roles are changing fast. Today, finance leaders are the business. It can be daunting, but it's also exciting. The challenges are real but the opportunities are endless. Now, you're going to hear shortly about some of the great new things that we have in store to help you make the most of these opportunities. But today is all about the here and now, your roles as they are today, and how Sage is going to enable you to have even more impact. Day two, tomorrow, is all about the vision, with AI at its heart. And Aaron Harris, our Chief Technology Officer, will be here to take you through that. And then on Thursday, we're going to close out with a very special keynote and a very cool announcement. Because not only are our AI insights inspiring great decision-making in business, they're also driving better sporting performances and fan experiences. Now, if you, those of you who were here last year may remember, I'm a rugby fan, which is a better version of American football, <laughs> but without Taylor Swift in the crowd. <laughs> now, when I'm watching sport, what really gets me on my feet is those moments when a player makes a winning decision in a split second. Now, those decisions are actually built on hours of training, years of experience, meticulous study, and then a great call in the moment. It's not so different in business. As official financial software partner to Major League Baseball, we bring our insight experience and expertise to America's greatest and fam favorite pastime. On Thursday, we'll be telling you more about our partnership and what's coming for the 2024 season. But as a bit of a teaser, do we have any ESPN Sunday night baseball fans here? Not really? Well, a few. A few. Anyway, not only will Olympic gold medalist 
and first female MLB analyst at ESPN, Jessica Mendoza, be here. But we'll also be welcoming MLB Hall of Famer, Cal Ripken, Jr. And we'll be announcing a global partnership which puts AI technology in the hands and at the feet of some of the biggest sports in the world. But first, I'm going to explore the nature of this changing world that you all face as finance professionals today. This is the group therapy bit, by the way. So think of all the challenges that we face together. And it's good to know that you're not alone. As we see it, based on insight that we've had from our customers, we see three big trends which are transforming the roles of CFOs and accountants. Constant change, the need to adapt, and the potential to transform. First, the pace of change. It really is the only constant, and it's not slowing down. In the 21st century, we don't measure the speed of change in years, but in months, weeks, even hours. Change management is a way of life, and uncertainty is the order of the day. Now, interestingly, over 50% of the world's chief economists expect the global economy to weaken over the next year. But over 40% expect unchanged or stronger conditions. So the business environment is more unpredictable than ever. Which takes me to the second trend, the need to adapt. The economy is getting tighter. It's costing more each year just to do business. Take construction, a bellwether sector. Many of you here today in this room are running thriving construction businesses. But you know better than me, material costs have really spiked in line or ahead of inflation. Supply chain shortages continue to slow the sector down. It's getting harder across all sectors to access capital. And for finance teams, fewer CPAs on the market and fewer entering the profession. Lower demand for those junior accounts roles. It's a challenge to find the right talent. And when we do find the right people, when we do hire the good people, we see two things. One is a greater expectation of the role of an employer, whether that be pay and conditions or societal and environmental commitments. And secondly, a desire for meaningful work. People want to do stuff that makes a difference. They're less keen on some of the routine and drudgery that used to come with the territory. Now, finance leaders, including the likes of me, who came, in, came of age in a different era, we could simply insist that people need to do those hard yards just like we did. Or we can adapt to the change, creating meaningful careers and great employee experiences for the best talent. And we can achieve the ideal combination of experience and fresh thinking. Which takes me to my third, third big trend, the potential that we all have to transform our businesses in the years ahead. We are living through a new industrial revolution. The first was powered by steam, and it was the steam trains driving west that forged the city that we're in today. The second industrial revolution was electronic, and the third was computerized. The fourth revolution, our revolution, is powered by a blend of AI, digital networks, and powerful computing. And if you're not part of this revolution, you risk being a part of the past. Now, we've been enhancing the Sage experience with AI services for some years now. Thousands of Sage customers are already seeing processes automated, insights generated, and intelligent suggestions. But generative AI has changed the game. And at Sage, we're passionate about that potential. 
Not because we're impressed by smart tech for the sake of it, not because we're blind to the risks, but our purpose is about knocking down barriers so that everyone can thrive. Burdens like wasted time on unnecessary admin. Barriers like taking two weeks to close the month. Barriers like feeling you're always looking back when you want to look forward. We think AI, and particularly this wave of AI, is going to knock down a lot of those barriers. But there's a lot of questions, right? Is it safe? Can I trust it? Will it replace me? I get it. But here's what our customers are telling us. You want AI solutions that ease the burden of admin, automating time-consuming processes, giving you genuine insight to take control of your decision-making. And there's an important point here. You are the decision-maker. And at the same time, you want confidence that your data is secure. Certainty, you're getting accurate, unbiased advice. And we've taken that all on board. Because Sage is here to help you every step of the way. We support finance and HR teams each and every day, all around the world. So not only do we understand the changing world you're living in, but we have a pretty decent idea of the critical DNA of a finance leader in today's world. These are what I call the CFO superpowers. Resilience, leadership, dynamism. Now, you're an amazing, resilient bunch. CFOs are often the lighthouse in the storm, the calm voice of reason when things get rocky. And this year, you've seen a lot, right? Government shutdowns, stuttering supply chains, geopolitical uncertainty. They just keep going, right? And so do the businesses you run, the engine room of the economy. The next superpower is leadership. Today's finance teams are more resilient than ever. They're used to charting a path for the whole business. I see it at Sage. Our own finance team now uses over 30 automated processes to perform our payment runs, cash application, invoice matching, and billing. This has saved the equivalent of more than 12 full-time employees, which means those colleagues have gone on to more fulfilling tasks. And finally, dynamism. Now, it's fair to say accountants are always known for dynamism, right? Dynamics not necessarily the first thing that comes to mind when you talk about an accountant. But now you've been asked about people, about culture, about environmental impact. Finance teams are destined to play an even more strategic role in the businesses of tomorrow. So these are your CFO superpowers, but every good superhero needs a trusty sidekick, which is where Sage Intact comes in. Now, without a doubt, and I know you all agree with me, Sage Intact is the best mid-market financials product globally, bar none. And as I've said it before, <laughs> as I've said it before, thousands of customers are already benefiting from AI services. For example, AP Bill Automation. One of our favorite topics, right? Sarah at Cambio Communities said that they went from processing about 90 invoices manually every day to over 300. Or general ledger outlier detection, which uses AI to capture unusual transactions. Eric at Veracity Research Company told us it caught an overstatement of revenue of about $350,000 before it even hit the books. Or Sage Inbox which handles communications between your business and your customers and your suppliers, intelligently suggesting responses in natural language. So it's getting more powerful through AI services that deliver real benefits. It's also getting more global. We now have teams not just in the US, but Canada, UK, France, South Africa, 
Australia, supporting Intact customers all around the world. And here's the first big announcement. We were going to introduce Intact into Germany in August this year. But the great news is it's already there. Today, launched in Germany, second country in Europe following our launch in France. And finally, we're going deeper into industry-specific services, combining our expertise in cloud accounting with our deep vertical insights. This year, we've invested in acquisitions like Corcon and Bridgetown and services like EMR Connect. Now, in a moment after me, you're going to hear from Dan and the team in more detail about how Sage Intact is going to get even better. But we won't be doing it alone. Our partners here today are helping all of us get the most out of Sage products. Our business partners, who were here yesterday and many of whom are here today in the room, our ISVs and developers who are creating new apps and add-ons for Sage Intact as part of our family and part of our story, and the strategic alliances that we've made as a business are helping address some of your biggest pain points. Now, last year, we, we talked about our strengthened relationship with Microsoft. So today, I want to talk to you about our strengthened relationship with AWS and how that's going to the next level. Now, as I'm sure you all know, AWS supports millions of SMBs to scale through cloud services. So we, sh we saw huge potential to bring together their community with our products and services to do something really special. We've talked about the increased environmental expectations employees have of your businesses. Your customers want to see that you understand your carbon footprint. It's become a critical requirement in a lot of procurement processes. And also for so many of you here, it's core to your own vision of how you run your business. So last year, we introduced Sage Earth, our AI and machine learning powered carbon accounting software. And this year, we're more, even more excited to announce that Sage Earth will be the leading cloud-based carbon accounting solution on the AWS marketplace, initially launching in the UK and soon to be expanding in the US and Europe. And now, developers using the leading cloud, AWS, will be able to integrate it seamlessly into their services. Now, this year, Sage has also spoken at COP28. We've spoken to policymakers in London and DC. And we always say the same two things. Firstly, we will not get to net zero without SMBs. And secondly, those businesses, those SMBs need support to get there, not more bureaucratic burdens. So we want to play our part here, firstly through technology like Sage Earth, but also through really practical advice. And your business can start today here, because this year, in another first for Transform, we're hosting sustainability clinics, which will give you actionable plans that you can put in place right away. So that's the first part of our AWS partnership. The second part is around large language models. Now, many of you know that the foundations for the powerful AI that we're using today are large language models, or LLMs. These models consume, understand, and generate human-like text. So today, I'm very excited to tell you that we're combining Sage's 40 years of accounting and compliance expertise with AWS and their computing power to partner on a world-first, domain-specific accounting and compliance LLM. That's got to deserve a round of applause. So this LLM will help us to support you with natural language insights, suggestions, and responses. But we're just going to show a quick video now with some of the leaders from AWS to tell you a bit more about it.
Hi, I'm Swami Sivasubramanian, VP of Data and AI at AWS. It's an exciting time as we expand our collaboration with Sage and continue to leverage our AI and ML innovations to empower small and medium businesses. Through our collaboration, we are working on domain-specific large language models aimed at improving accounting practices and navigating local compliance requirements. Our goal at AWS has always been to make machine learning more accessible. Our work with Sage exemplifies this by enabling businesses to use the latest in AI technology. Together, we are making it easier for SMBs to apply generative AI in practical yet impactful ways. It's an exciting time to be at the intersection of AI, cloud computing, and business solutions. Hello, I'm G2 Krishnamurti, Vice President for Analytics at AWS. The availability of Sage Earth in AWS Marketplace is a significant step towards enabling businesses like yours and your customers to make informed decisions about your environmental impact. It's also an innovation collaboration. The collaboration with Sage is built on a mutual vision of innovation and delivering value to you. This means enhanced security, scalability, and reliability for all Sage users directly on AWS. It also means up-leveling our approach to accounting and financial decision-making by collaborating on domain-specific large language models for accounting and compliance to power the next generation of AI-powered assistance. Looking ahead, we are excited about deepening our strategic alignment to bring more innovative solutions to you, our joint customers. We will continue to innovate and grow together and continue to support your business's growth and transformation. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey. So thanks to Swami and G2 for that. This is all in the name of our AI vision and all brought to life by my final announcement today. I want to tell you about how we're unlocking the potential of generative AI to transform your experience of using Sage. Our AI vision is about freeing you to have even more impact for your businesses. It's about transforming accounting from a profession that's limited to cycles to one that's about continuous strategic value. And there are three ways that we want to do this. Continuous accounting. Our ambition is to eliminate the monthly close. <laughs> Continuous assurance, where our ambition is to eliminate the annual audit. <laughs> and continuous insights, where our ambition is to enable confident, informed, but crucially real-time decision-making. Now, generative AI is going to be the turbocharger for this vision. Because of its ability to take complex, natural language instructions and determine next steps, even write code, it means that we can move from simple task automation to full workflow automation. So what does that mean? What does that mean for all of you? It means the end of low value, repetitive work that sucks time and energy from finance teams so they can focus on higher value work, better analysis, effortless invoicing, complete cash flow control, forecasting and predictions, seeing round corners, plotting the next move, freeing you and your teams from repetitive tasks so that you can focus your time on the things that will drive value. So, now, say hello to your newest team member, Sage Copilot. So for SMBs, CFOs, and accountants, Sage Copilot 
will act as a trusted member of the team, handling admin and repetitive tasks in real time. Now, this isn't just a bunch of old features rebadged as an assistant. To be real, it must work across your back office and show real value from day one. Sage Copilot is going to change your life. So let me start by showing why. So imagine a co-pilot helping with reporting, no longer having to wait for the month-end close to understand the financial position. A co-pilot for accounts payable and accounts receivable processes, bringing you approvals and exceptions. Business insights, real-time triggers delivered outside the finance department to business leaders, enabling faster decision-making. Now, we're going to launch this spring for small business customers, and it's coming to Intac next year. You're going to hear a lot more from Aaron about this tomorrow, so stay tuned. Now, this is pretty exciting. I, I mean, I have to say, I am as excited about generative AI as I was when I first saw ticking and tying lift off the page onto a fully automated Excel spreadsheet. And that was an exciting moment for me early in my career. And by the way, just to be clear, Sage Copilot will embrace working with Excel because we're all accountants and we all love Excel. So, at Sage, our approach to AI is pretty simple. Deliver to our customers through our network in a way that works for them. But secondly, and very importantly, no gimmicks just real AI solutions for real businesses. So that's a quick tour of some of the exciting announcements for this week, but I've only scratched the surface. So please, obviously, take time in the event, explore the whole event, so that when you go back to your businesses, you can have even more impact than you're having today. We know the world is complex, but there is nobody better to help businesses weather the storm than the leaders in this room. I love what we're doing together, working together. Partnership is important. Incredible product innovation. Helping SMBs grow and thrive through AI. And also ensuring 
that we're all playing a positive role in the world with a better understanding of the impact that we're having on the planet. I am truly honored that Sage is your partner and companion on your business journeys. I believe we're heading into a future full of promise and rich in potential. And I'm incredibly excited about what we're going to achieve together. So enjoy the conference. Enjoy the next few days. Thank you.